What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. Uh, today I'm going to explain to you how to get approved to do decks at a customer. So a lot of our customers have been coming to us lately and they've been asking us, Mickey, how do we get approved to do decks with Kroger or Publix or Walmart or any of these stores? Uh, so now I'm going to explain to you how to do that. So step one to getting approved to do decks with any store is you have to find the EDI department for the store you're trying to dex with. So for example, I'm going to link the EDI department for Kroger down below uh, so that you guys can, can view the page. But basically you want to find the EDI department. If you don't know how to find this, do a quick Google search EDI department with the name of the store or hit up your buyer at the store and ask them, Hey, what is the contact information for the EDI department? Now, once you get this contact information, you want to reach out to them in an email and say, Hey, so-and-so team, let's say it's Kroger team. I'd like to be approved to do decks. I'm with this company with this vendor number. So be prepared, send, the, send them your company information, send them your vendor number, send them everything that you need, okay? And say, I'd like to be approved to do decks with you. Now, within a day or two, you'll normally get a response that says, excellent, uh, thank you for reaching out to us. Uh, we're happy that you wanna do decks with us. Here's a form. That form that they send you is gonna contain their information. So their DUNS number, it's going to contain their location numbers. It's going to contain all the information that they have in the system for you, like your DUNS number and your location, and then something else called a COM ID. And what you have to do is you have to take that form and validate that all that information that they send you is correct in your system. Now, depending on what DEX system you have, this is either going to go in the DEX system itself or in your accounting system. So you're going to need to put in a DUNS number for each store, a location for each store and a com ID for each store. Those are the three fields you need to fill out on your end. And to them, you're going to need to provide again, the same three fields. You're going to need to provide your DUNS number, your location number, and your com ID, your location number and your com ID for most customers are traditionally whatever you make up. Some customers require a specific com ID and location. So please adjust accordingly. So once you receive, that form, you validate all the data, okay? You need to make sure that your UPCs are correct as well. So what I like to do in this, in this uh, scenario as well, once you receive that form, I'll answer, thank you so much for the form. Could you please send me a list of my approved products uh, in your system? Okay, and the purpose of this list is so that you can validate the UPCs that that store has in the system for your products you have to make sure that the UPCs that are in their system and the UPCs that are in your system match. If they don't match, the DEX will not work, okay? So again, number one, you wanna do the, the DEX information form that they're gonna send you, validate all that information. Number two, you wanna make sure you validate all your UPCs. Now, when all that's ready, you're gonna send them back the form filled out with the correct information if there are any discrepancies, and you're gonna say, here's the form. I'd like to schedule an appointment to do a DEX test. So a DEX test is, a three to four hour window at any backdoor receiving where you physically go and you test your DEX system to see if it's gonna work with that particular customer. So in Kroger's case, for instance, they'll set aside two to three hour window at a Kroger store in your area and you have to go there and physically plug in and DEX with the receiver to validate that your DEX is going to work. Okay, so you're gonna set up this appointment and you're gonna go there, you're gonna do the physical DEX test. Normally that physical DEX test is done with the receiver and somebody from Kroger or from whatever customer you're working with. Now you're gonna DEX in, if there's any errors, the receiver or the Kroger EDI specialist will let you know and you'll have to tweak, fix it and try again. Now you're gonna go back and forth for an hour to two hours, but eventually that DEX, when it goes in, it's gonna be perfect. Once it goes in and you're able to do a couple tests, for instance, they'll have you test DEXing in an invoice, then they'll have you test receiving changes from their system. So if you DEX in quantity 10 and you get back quantity eight, they'll make sure that that, that gets synced up. Um, syncing up pricing. So if you send in price A, but they have price B in their system, syncing up those prices, okay? They'll test DEXing in a credit. Basically, you're gonna do all these tests for a couple hours. Once all these tests work, you're going to get an approve or a fail, basically. 
Now, if you get an approved, that means that starting at that exact moment, you'll now be able to go to every single store of that chain and start dexing. If you fail, what normally happens is you have to identify why you failed. You have to go back to your dex provider and ask them to fix whatever the issue was. But if the dex provider does what we're accustomed to do it, they'll be there at that meeting with you, either over the phone, through FaceTime, or in person to help you during the test to make sure that you don't fail and have to retake it. Okay, so that's kind of the process to get approved to do Dex at any of these retail stores. The only one that I've seen that it varies is Publix. In the Publix test, you have to physically go to Lakeland, Florida to do the lab test. And that lab test takes anywhere between six to eight hours. So that one's kind of a pain, but all the other customers are relatively easy. Again, Publix, you have to go there in person. So beware if Publix is making you Dex, keep in mind that either you or your vendor is gonna to have to go there in person to do this test. So it's a little bit more of a drawn out process, but either way, the process is pretty painless. Once you, if your vendor has been doing it for a long time, it should be pretty easy to pass. And once you've passed, you're now able to do decks with all the stores. So I hope that helped you. I'll link the, uh, the Kroger EDI link on the bottom so that you guys can take a look at it. If you have any questions as to how to get approved to do decks with your store or customer, please, Give us a call, um, hit us in the comments down below. We'll make sure to answer and get back to you and help you point you in the right direction. Take care and we'll see you next video. I'll be posting tomorrow. Bye.